What's up guys, I'm Andrew and today I'm going to be showing you how to host your own free multiplayer Minecraft server for version 1.20 on Mac. Let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is go ahead and open up any internet browser, however I personally recommend Google Chrome, and go ahead and search for Java Download. Just like that, go to this one by Oracle or just go ahead and click that first link in the description. Make sure this Java Development Kit 20 is selected and go ahead and select Mac OS. And now you have a quick decision to make. If you have a Mac with an M1 or M2 chip, you're going to want to get this ARM DNG installer. But if you have a Mac with an Intel chip, you're going to want to get this X64 DMG installer. Quick way to check this is to go to this little Apple icon up here, click About This Mac. And then next to chip, you will see whichever chip is installed in your computer. I have the Apple N1 Max, so I'm just going to close this and install this ARM64 installer. And once that's done downloading, go ahead and double click that, double click the package, and it's just going to walk you through the installation process. So hit continue, install, type in your password. And once it's done, you can go ahead and hit close and then move to trash. All right, so what you're gonna wanna do now is go and open up a new tab and search for Minecraft server. And then go to this one by minecraft.net or go ahead and click that second link in the description. Once you're here, go ahead and click this link that says Minecraft server.jar. And once it's done, go ahead and drag it to your desktop and minimize your browser. The next thing is to go ahead and right click anywhere on your desktop and click new folder and rename it to server or Minecraft server, something like that. Then go ahead and toss your server.jar file into that folder. All right, the next step is to go ahead and open your server folder, hit command space and search for terminal. Should open up this application here and now you're going to want to run these specific commands. So follow along carefully. First type CD space desktop. Hit enter, then CD server, or whatever you named your Minecraft server folder to. Hit enter, then type ls. This is listing the components in this folder. And finally, type java space dash jar space server dot jar. Hit enter to run this command. All right, so now we can go ahead and close this terminal window and go ahead and double click on this eula.txt right here. This will open a text edit window. Now we need to go to this last line right here, delete the word false and type in true. Now we need to go to file, click save, and then close this. Okay, so the next step is to go ahead and hit command space and search for text edit. Just open that application. Let me drag this over here. Go ahead and click new document and we have a little window here. And now there's gonna be some text in the description that you need to copy and paste into here. So once you have this text pasted in here, you now need to decide how much RAM you'd like to allocate to your server. Now, if you have no clue what I'm talking about, two gigabytes of RAM is probably okay, but I'm going to go ahead and bump this up to six. And the way you can do that is changing these numbers right between the two right here. So I'm just gonna delete the two and type in six and do the same for this one right here. So do what to do, type in six. Now go up to format up here at the top and click make plain text. Click okay. This will just make it so that it's a command that your computer can run. Now we want to go to file, save, and you want to save this in your server folder that you made and name it start.com command just like that all lowercase and click save and once you see your start.command file pop up in your server folder you can go ahead and close this text edit window so the next step is to go ahead and open up this start.command file but as you can see when i tried to do that i am denied access and to fix this all we need to do is go ahead and open up terminal again and type in these exact characters c h m o d space a plus x space all lowercase, and then we need to take our start.command file and drag it into the terminal window. Then go ahead and hit enter. And as you can see, when we do that, we can go ahead and open up our start.command file and it'll run just fine. 
So currently, our server is up and running, but it's only available to ourselves. So to make this available to everyone else, we need to open back up our browser window, and we need to port forward our server. And to port forward our server, we need to search for port map, and go to this one by the coding monkeys. Or just go ahead and click the third link in the description. Once you're at the website, go ahead and click this download the application link right here. It will bring you to a GitHub page. Go ahead and click this little package one right here. Once it's done downloading, go ahead and double click it. And it went to my downloads here, so let me drag that out. And then go ahead and double click this application and then click open. So once the application is opened, you should see that there are a few numbers at the top. I've blurred these out because these are personal IP addresses and they relate to your location among many other things. But this is how people are going to join to your server, so just be careful who you get this number out to. Now to actually port forward our server, what we need to do is go ahead and click this little plus button down here. And then go ahead and type 25565 in local port right here. Make sure protocol is selected as TCP. And then you can leave the rest of these two blank and then go ahead and click add mapping. And as you can see, a green light has popped up next to public port. If it doesn't, just go ahead and uncheck this box right here. It'll unmap it for a second. And then go ahead and check it again. That should fix the problem and the green light should be there. And another thing to make sure of is that when you're trying to go into your server and let your other friends join, you need to have this application open and make sure it is mapped, which means the green light is on. So now it's time for the fun part. We can actually go into our server and add it to our multiplayer list. So I went ahead and booted up Minecraft 1.20 and I'm going to go to multiplayer. Click add server. You can name it whatever you want. <laughs> and now once you've reached the server address box, you need to open up port map again. And then this big number in the middle right here, right next to my cursor, you're going to want to copy that. So just command C, back to Minecraft and paste it in your server address box. You can then click done and you should see your server is online and you can go ahead and join it. Yeah, there we go, I'm in my server. So as you can see, we are in our server, but we are currently not a server operator and can't use any commands. And to fix that, we need to click this terminal icon down here It'll open up your server terminal window and all you need to do is type slash op space and then type your minecraft username mine is dippyfresh08 then hit enter as you can see it says dippyfresh is now a server operator so i can use commands and all that all right so the last thing is to know how to start and stop your server to stop it it's super simple all you need to do is go ahead and click this terminal icon down here and just type the word stop and hit enter. As you can see, my server's closed. I can now close the terminal window and go back to the server list. And to reopen it, it's equally as simple. All you need to do is go ahead and open up Finder and go to your server folder and double click your start document file, just like that. And your server's up again and you can join it. And if you're wondering how your friends are gonna join your world, it's super simple. They need to join the same exact way you did. So click add server and they can name it whatever they want, but they need to type in the same exact server address so that way they can connect to your world. And that's it guys, it's that simple to make a free multiplayer server for Minecraft version 1.20. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I'd appreciate it if you hit the like and subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.